Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Everyone thought this was a teen with her dad before prom. Then it's discovered who he really is. Senior prom is one of the highlights of your senior year and the perfect way to celebrate high school almost being over. So much planning and preparation are put into making the night unforgettable for all that attend the big event. For one high school senior, she just had the most unexpected prom that she and many others will never forget. Many people thought her date to the prom was her father but they were surprised at who was actually her date for the night. One family in Mercersburg, Pennsylvania is suffering an unimaginable loss, not once, but twice now. According to Public Opinion Online, Carter Brown was not all about going to a high school prom, but he was still excited to go because it would make his girlfriend, Kaylee Suters, happy. That's why Carter's dad, Robert Brown, stepped in to take Suters to her senior prom after Carter died in a car crash a month before James Buchanan High School's big dance. He knew his youngest son would still want Suters to go. I think that my husband is incredible. He is just a loving and giving human. He's truly amazing. He is a gift, said Kelly Brown, Carter's mom, and Robert's wife. I know that Carter was in college, he wasn't super excited about going to a high school prom, but he was excited about doing that for Kaylee, so Rob didn't like the idea of Kaylee not getting that. Carter, 19 and a 2017 graduate of James Buchanan, was pronounced dead the morning of April 15 at the scene of a three-vehicle crash in Huntingdon. Driving a Honda Civic at about 7.35 a.m. on PA. 22. He had crossed into the opposing lane of traffic and hit the rear driver's side of one car before colliding head-on with another car, according to the Center Daily Times. After staying up much of the night before, Carter had been traveling from Indiana State University, where he was a freshman studying culinary arts, to surprise suitors, her mom, Christina Nicholas, said. As she was waiting for him to arrive, suitors grew concerned and said he should have been there already. When Nicholas proposed he got stuck in traffic or got pulled over. Suters insisted he still should have been there by then. Soon after, Kelly Brown called to share she had received the call every parent hopes they never get. That was a Sunday. By the end of the week, Robert Brown got to thinking that Suters deserved to experience her senior prom, that Carter would not want her to miss it, and that he would be the one to take her. By Monday, just over a week since Carter's death, he called the school's principal, Rod Benedict. To get his attendance at the prom approved, it meant a lot that he kind of stepped up and took the role because it was my senior prom and I didn't want to go anymore," Suter said. Getting ready for the prom was a family affair. Suter's has been staying at the Browns' home most days since Carter died, even sleeping in his room, so most of the prom preparation happened there. Suter's even went when Robert Brown got his tuxedo, her mom said. It was overwhelming, Robert Brown said. Just the experience of seeing her, in the days prior, getting ready. She seemed to be excited. I think it's really sweet and wonderful and says a lot about Kaylee's relationship too, that she wanted to go with him, Kelly Brown added. It speaks to how much she is a part of our family and how much we love her. James Buchanan High School hosted its prom at Green Grove Gardens. Suitors, Robert Brown, and several members of their families gathered for photos before they departed together in Carter's beloved sports car, an Audi TT. They even went out for dinner beforehand at TGI Fridays where Suters and Carter went on their first date. Whenever we got, to the prom, everyone just thought it was amazing, Souter said. At the prom, Robert Brown tried his best to fit in with the teens. He wanted the night to be all about Kaylee. It takes a special kind of person to step up, especially when they're hurting and going through stuff too. It's nice he took the initiative to ask her and have a good time, Nicholas said. Suters and Carter had been dating about a year but had been best friends for about three years. Carter may have been her daughter's first serious boyfriend, but Nicholas said he was Suter's other half and completed her. There's that one person that you know was meant to be for you, and that was hers, Nicholas said. Suter's loved Carter's smile. She loved his patience and his sense of humor. Their favorite thing to do together was driving around and listening to music. Carter knew he wanted to grow up to work in culinary service ever since he entered and placed in a cake-making contest when he was 11 or 12, Robert Brown said. He even turned his newfound passion into a way to make money, running a small cake-making business with his mom. Carter worked low-level jobs with the food service company that serves Mercersburg Academy, Sage Dining. Robert Brown said the company had already told him he would have a job there after he completed school. He was really looking forward to starting an externship at the Ocean Reef Country Club in Key Largo, Florida, working for seven months with one of the country's top chefs. It was one of three competitive externships he was accepted into, his dad said. 
All of this fit in with Carter's decisive, independent nature. Robert Brown recalled Carter as a three-year-old insisting on doing things without his parents' help. He was charismatic, too. He could walk into a room full of strangers and walk out knowing everyone, Kelly Brown said. He would lend a hand to anyone who needed it. At his service, everyone said the same thing, that he could make you laugh and make you feel good about yourself even if he wasn't in a good spot. It just shows what kind of person he was, Nicholas said. The Browns have endured more than just a tough month. Their oldest son, Christopher Brown, died in September at age 23. It was emotional, but Robert Brown escorting Kaylee to prom gave them something to look forward to. We lost Chris in September. Seven months apart, it's an awful lot, Kelly Brown said. This gave us something to be excited about. So that was also kinda a gift to have something fun to look forward to. It was big deal for all of us. At such a time of tragedy for this family, this father stepped up to the plate when he didn't have to. He has every right to mourn the loss of his second son in less than one year. His simple action is one that Kaylee will never forget. What an amazing father and example he is. He touched the lives of everyone there and everyone who reads this. I know it makes me want to be a better person all around. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.